Hello friends, once again I have uh, an interesting concept of which we'll look at which is the Sherman Morrison formula proof in numerical linear algebra. Let's get into it. So this formula says suppose that A is an invertible square matrix and u v mean vectors given that 1 plus v transpose a inverse u is not equal to 0 then the Sherman Morrison formula states that a plus the u v transpose or inverse is the same is equal to the expression at the right hand side now you want to now prove this formula so to prove it we first of all let's want to do an assignment such that our y is equal to a plus u v transpose and our x is the inverse of y such that our x times y or y times x should give us an identity so from here from here we are considering the whole of this expression to be x and the inverse of it with a plus u v transpose to be our y okay so now Having our x and y, we first one want to consider the case one uh, of which we consider this one to be our x. Okay. And then this expression to be our y. This x that we have here is the same as what we have here. So then having obtained this one, equation one, we expand to get equation two then to get equation three expanding equation two we happen to get equation three and then we factor our negative out from here we add and then factor the negative out which give rise to equation three so from here there is something that we have to observe you see a inverse a will give us an identity so uh, if, which eventually will give us will force these two terms to vanish so from equation three we happens to get equation four nice here so now there is a technique here of which we need to consider uh, a inverse a will automatically give us an in uh, give us an identity which is the, this one that we have here and then so we want to since we this one forces to give us an identity then it means we have to do something such that okay uh, we'll be able to obtain this same expression from these whole terms here okay so when you come here we happens to observe that we have a inverse here u a inverse here u so we go straight ahead to factor a inverse u out which is what we have here and then we have when you factor it out we happens to get this expression all over here then we also want to observe we can also consider the, this expression in the bracket so with this expression in the bracket we if we factor the v transpose out we can't cancel out with the denominator to the to the left we can't cancel out with the de, with the denominator so we we kind of consider to f factor it out to the right which is this very expression that we have here 
So once that we have obtained this expression here, now we can straight ahead cancel out. So once we cancel out the numerator with the denominator, then we will have the whole of these terms giving us what? This expression here. So this is to the negative and this to the positive. So it will cancel out giving us our, our identity matrix. We now move a step further to consider case 2 where we have our y multiplying our x to give us an identity. So this expression here once again is our y and this is our x. So when you as multiply through it happens to it gives rise to equation 10. And equation equation 10 we observe that this one gives us an identity matrix that we have here and then we we now and this one also gives us an identity so which which in other ways this terms vanishes and then we eventually get equation 11 from equation 11 we observe that our u is here so we can factor u out so we happen to factor our u out although we have u v transpose a inverse here but if we factor that one out we will not be able to get an, exp an expression that we can cancel out so we consider factoring only u out to to the left then we go then we go further to factor our v and then from here from here we consider factoring our v transpose a inverse to the right which we have it nice here so having this expression here now we can now go ahead and then cancel out because what we have as the numerator is the same thing as what we have the denominator so yes cancel out giving us this uh, exp expression over here which is equation 14 and you know this one and this one cancel out then eventually we happens to obtain our identity matrix so since um, case 1 and case 2 happens to give us our identity matrix hence we can say this is the proof of the schema morrison formula is we have come to the end of this lesson and then i believe this video has been helpful uh, at least i trust that you will like and com comment and subscribe to uh, this video hit the like button subscribe